Hello guys, it's Roger here. Welcome to another video. So, do you know what we're going to be doing, guys? No. No, nope. we've got another experiment today. And today's experiment, we are going to be making a lemon clock. So we're going to be turning this kit into an alarm clock. Using only a lemon. That looks more like an orange than a lemon on the picture, but we are definitely going to be using lemons. So, we're just going to get our stuff together. Oh, we've well done. I was going to say, where are the lemons? We've got the lemons. Is there anything else we need? Let's have a look what this says we need. So, it says, connect the red wire to the LCD watch, to the copper plate, blah, 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 blah. I thought I might have said what we need. I think all we need is this kit, which you can easily buy on the internet, and, and a lemon. And that should be everything we need. So, let's get into it. So this is everything we need. So, we need to match this diagram up with this. And we're gonna to need to, first of all, we need to chop our lemon in half. So yeah, go on Evan, you can do it then. Be very careful, that is a very sharp knife, okay? So let's cut it, just wait a minute. We're gonna turn the lemon around, we'll cut it the other way around. So let's just cut it that way, that's it. So be very careful and give that a cut through. Oh, the lemon ran off. Do you want to try again? Be careful. There we go. We're always going to get an adult to help. Very good. Okay, let's just move that knife out of the way now. So we are done with that. So the next thing we need to do is connect the red wire to a copper plate. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do first. If we make the diagram up, let's put our copper rods in next. So out of these two boys, which one do you think is the copper one? This one. That one? That one. That one? It's that one, Dylan, because that's copper coloured, isn't it? So we need one of each in each lemon. So we're going to put a copper and a zinc. And then Dylan, on yours, we need a copper and a zinc, so the same way round, okay? So if you push those in, leaving the little holes at the top, that's right. That's what we're going to be connecting our electrics to. Uh, but I think you just need to spin that one round because the hole look you've put into the lemon. And that hole needs to be on the end here because that's where we're going to be putting the wires. So you need to turn that over. That's it. Pull it out, turn it over and push it back in. Dylan, have you got both your holes on the top? No, your copper one's the wrong way as well. So turn that copper one round so the hole's at the top. Okay, that's good. Pop them back down. So we need our copper one that way, our zinc one that way, our copper one that way, and our zinc one that way. So... The next part of the experiment now is to connect the wires to each of these, first of all. So I'm going to put the camera down and just help because what we have to do is you have to connect the wires through these little holes and we've just got to secure them in place with a little bit of sticky tape. So I'm going to have to have an adult hand here again to help, aren't we? So let's get those wires taped. Okay, so just matching our diagram here, the white cable has joined these back two probes together. We've got the black wire come in here into this zinc one. So all that's left to do now is to connect the red wire to the second copper. Let's just move that, make sure they don't connect because that would not work if they joined together. So that red wire now needs to be connected up there to complete the circuit. So try that Evan, hold that against the copper wire and we'll see what happens. Oh, there we go. We've got a working clock. Can you see that? It's working. Yeah. Try and get that through the hole and then twist it round, Evan. It's a bit tricky. And see if you can get that to stay. If you can't, I can give you a hand. And there we have it, guys. A working alarm clock powered by fruit. That is amazing. So, do we know how this is working? Do we know why this is working? No, no. No, no? So, let me explain. So, 
The copper plate acts like a positive electrode of a battery. So these are just our batteries. They're plated with a metal which is less reactive than zinc. So when the plates are inserted into these lemons, a chemical reaction occurs. So electrons, which are extremely small particles with a negative charge, move from the zinc plates to the copper plates to form a current, thus activating the LCD watch. The lemon juice helps conduct the electricity. You could replace the lemon juice with something like, sorry, the lemon juice, the lemon with them. Um, it would work with potatoes, grapefruits. You could even use soft drinks, and then we can see what effects that have. But there's lots of different things that will affect it. A kiwi, we could try a kiwi. So we could try lots of different things at an experiment. Try an apple. We could try an apple. We could try a sausage. Do you think a sausage would work? We'll try whatever <laughs> this is. Whatever that is, what is that? I don't know. A you mango. don't know what that is. It is a mango. And what do we do with mangoes? We say. I eat. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Pass it here. Ha ha. Actually, Rojo has a mango. Okay, guys, that is everything. Thank you for watching. We're going to have a bit of an experiment now with a few different fruits. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.